Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the project and optimized digital image processing algorithm for digital oil painting. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process. The improved canny edge direction algorithms begins with the median filtering algorithm which is used to remove the noises from the images and the indicators. Hence, this process is mainly focused on two things. One is the noise removal and another one is the oil painting. The median filter is quite important in image analysis because it is well recognized for preserving the edges through the removal of noises. On the other hand, the Gaussian filter approach is then used to minimize the amount of noises in the image by enhancing the edge reduction's precision. Finally, the pixel convolutional methods is presented which allows for multiplying together two arrays of numbers, often of various sizes but of the same dimensions. Hence, this is more important. The output of the Gaussian and the median filter should be in the same sizes then the third array of numbers of the same dimensions. The other words, it adaptively determines the lower and higher thresholds based on the pixel pictures information. Hence, this method is achieving the good quality of pixels and minimum loss of the pixels by achieving the PSNR and the MSCs. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. This is the overall working flow of this process. This process consists of the modules such as input image, pre-processing, transformation, enhancement and finally performance estimations. These are the five modules presented in this project. At first, the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of several images which is consists of the RGB images that is the colored images. After getting any one image from the dataset, then the second level of the process is the pre-processing. Hence, the pre-processing consists of two stages of pre-processing. One is the image resize, then the second one is the channel separation. In this resize, the image will be resized into an aspect ratios. Here, we are going to resize the image in the size of 256 cross 256. This is the standard size of the images. Then, after converting the image into 256 cross 256, which means the number of row will be the 256 and number of column will be the 256. After converting this, we just move on to the second stage of the pre-processing that is the channel separation. So in this channel separation, we are going to separate the channel like RGB. Basically, the colored image having the three basic bands like red, green, blue. So that reason, we are here we are going to segregate the channels as red, green and blue. After doing the pre-processing, the transformations will be carried out by using the two kinds of the methods like filtering and wavelets. So filtering is done to remove the noises from the image. After doing the filtering, we are going to do the wavelets. So wavelet is just a transformation of spatial domains to the frequency domain. After doing these two things, we just doing the enhancement portion. In this enhancement portions, we are considering the two things. One is the contrast enhancement then the another one is the image sharpening so contrast enhancement before going to the contra contrast enhancement we are just doing the sharpening by using the edge and object based sharpening then we are doing the contrast enhancement to maintain the aspect quality of the image so after doing the enhancement portions we are finally doing the performance analysis in this performance analysis, basically three steps will be there. One is the PSNR, then the second one is the MSE, and the third one is the time. So PSNR refer refers to the peak signal to noise ratio. Then the second one is the MSE that refers to the mean square error. Then finally, the executional time will be estimated. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process. At first, open the MATLAB 2019B and then change the current directory. If you want to execute the file, just right click in the main file underscore 100.em. Then you just use the option run. After clicking the button run, now the dataset folder will be open. In that dataset folder, you have to select any one image from the dataset. After the selection of the image from the dataset, the process will be done automatically one by one as per the model we have given. So first of all, the first thing is the input. 
the input images already we have taken from the data set those images shown in the figure 1 with the title of input image now the input figure 1 represents the input image which we have taken from the user after getting the input image from the data set we just move to the pre-processing in this pre-processing one of the step is the image resize here we are doing the resize by using the number of row will be the 256 number of column will be the 256 after doing the image resize we are just move to the next stage that is the grayscale conversion in the pre-processing grayscale conversion will be there to estimate the color intensity of the pixels each and every pixels so in the pre-processing after doing the resize we are converting the image into one grayscale form like this after doing the grayscale conversion for filtering first of all we have to add the noises in the image here the salt and pepper noises are added in the image that is the noisy image you can see the difference between the grayscale image and then the noisy image here the noises will be added by manually so that's why the reason to do the filtering so here we are doing the filtering for red channel green channel and blue channel separately so this is the filtered image for red channel alone this is the filtered image for green channel alone this is the filtered image for blue channel alone so after doing the filtering the pixels are smoothening to remove the noises from the image after doing the noise removal we are converting the image into one oil painting image so the general rgb image will be converted into one oil painted image like this after doing the oil paint the pixels will be blur little bit so that's why we are doing the sharpening the image to regain the original quality of the oil painting so after doing the sharpening everything finally the final part of the process is the performance estimation here the performance will be estimated based on the PSNR MSC and time so this is the values belongs to the PSNR MSC and time this will be part of the thanks for watching this video